Okay, you want to make sure that when you're set up, you've got the water attached to your faucet. You're going to turn on your, your water, set the temperature to about 100 degrees, 100 to 101 degrees. It's a little high, so we're going to turn it down just a little bit. Ninety-nine. We're going to be really close to it right there. So now we pull the pin. The pin forces the water up into the into the reservoir, and the reservoir is ready now. We're going to just bleed out the, the cold water that's in the line and the air. Okay, when it comes out without any bubbles, we close it off. And this is the way you attach your nozzle. The best way to do it, if it's still if it's still wrapped, just poke the end of the squared end through the back back of the uh, bag. Put the nozzle up through the hole. Put it into this uh, sleeve about a quarter inch. Then you put it down in and push it down in, and that locks it in place. That, cone is that hole is cone shaped so as you push it down in there it locks on it now you can pull this off lubricate your nozzle and when you get on the table you make sure that you pull yourself all the way so your buttocks is firm against that scoop that way it forms a seal and when you expel everything will go into the toilet um, you should have the the board slightly taller on the uh, away from the toilet end about two inches taller so that everything will slope away from you but uh, on a bench or a chair or a colon stand and then everything when you release it will just go right into the into the scoop below but as long as you're firm against here you should have no leakage at all so you get on lubricate the nozzle get on slide the nozzle into the rectum slide against here and then you can reach up and you can open the valve and the water will start discharging. And you can see it here coming out, it comes out both sides of the nozzle and will gently lubricate or uh, hydrate your, your colon. If uh, I, as I'm laying on the on the board, sometimes I, I feel like oh I'd like a little warmer. I actually reach over with my toe and adjust the uh, the temperature but uh, it should stay pretty consistent once you're flowing. And when the tank goes down a little bit, the uh, float in here will allow it to fill back up. And so it'll only vary a couple inches inside of the, the uh, tank. And that gives equal pressure down so that your pressure is always pretty close to the same. And it's about 1.5 to 1.75 PSI or pounds per square inch. Uh, Dr. Bernard Jensen recommended this pressure. It gently hydrates the colon, and if you lay there and, and can get rid of the blockages, it will eventually hydrate the entire colon. We recommend that you not do over about a 45 minute cleanse at a time so that you don't over hydrate yourself and put your electrolytes uh, into a, a, a out of balance situation. Very simple, once you're done, you pull away from the nozzle, the nozzle will come out. Now, first of all, of course, you turn off the, the water, you slide away from the nozzle, the nozzle comes out, you climb off the table, get cleaned up, and then you can just, again, you don't want to pull the nozzle through that hole because it's got fecal matter on it. So what you do is pull it up like this and take it apart right here. This thing can go into the garbage. This end can come here and we can now turn off the water and open this up. And this is what we use to wash out the scoop and off the board. And this will drain, <coughs> drain the tank so that it becomes an empty vessel. Now you can use your sink as normal. The pin is in, and you can leave this on if you want to, and go ahead and use your sink as you want to until next time when you pull the pin and force the water up into the top.
So you really need to have a little thermometer to check the water temperature, a little bit of lubricant to uh, lubricate the nozzle, and uh, you want something to lay on with your, maybe a pillow at the top. Um, we have a, a pad and pillow that we manufacture that uh, is available for purchase as well as the, the stand that is uh, very solid and sturdy for the uh, board to sit on. Uh, good luck. Hope that helps.